Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today in this video, I'm gonna show, how to install macOS Daho on PC. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. So without a further ado, let's get started. To install macOS Daho on PC, you'll require macOS Daho installer, and EFI according to your hardware. To create EFI for yourself, follow the guide for my button. Also, make sure to adapt EFI for macOS Daho and ensure the USB ports are mapped, and also one USB with a minimum of 32GB is required for the purpose. Currently, the macOS Daho installer isn't available on the App Store. And here comes Disk Geeker. To download Disk Geeker, search for iVoiceOft Disk Geeker on Google, click through the official website, and download the product. Disk Geeker is a comprehensive disk management tool. Disk Geeker provides statistics on the connected drives, including smart info, health, temperature and much more. You can view additional drive details by clicking on View Details button. Disk Geeker also offers you additional features like disk cloning, partition management, and drive health checks. Disk Geeker can also conveniently download multiple macOS versions in one place, without navigating Apple's site or the App Store. You can also create bootable installer media using Disk Geeker, even the pre-release macOS installer. I'll be creating macOS 26 Daho installer, click on Get to download the image. After the image is downloaded, you can now create the macOS installer. Plug in any USB or external device in which you want to create the macOS installer. After the drive appears, click on Create Boot Disk. Here, select a target drive to create a macOS installer, and continue with the prompts. Browse and select the downloaded macOS image, and continue with the prompts. And now the installer will be created in a while. And now that the installer has been created successfully, you can use it for a clean install of macOS Tahoe. Try Disk Geeker today. For more info, check out the link in the description. After creating the macOS Daho installer, mount the ESP of the USB, and put the EFI for your system in the USB ZSP. You can mount the ESP using Terminal or any other app. See Mounting EFI for more information. And now the USB is ready and it can be used for installation. Now power on your PC, and boot to BIOS. Here, load BIOS defaults and then change the following settings. After making the changes, exit BIOS saving changes, and now, plug the bootable USB, and boot to boot menu. From here, select your USB, followed by the UEFI prefix, and press enter to boot. 
After booting, with selected install Mac OS Tahoe, press enter to boot to the installer. From here, select your preferred language and click on the right arrow button. Select Disk Utility and click on Continue. Here, click on View and then click on Show All Devices. Now select your main drive instead of any partitions and click on the Erase button and erase the drive with the following parameters. After erasing the drive, close the disk utility, and now select Install Mac OS Tahoe, and click on Continue. And here, if clicking on Continue doesn't work, quit, Install Mac OS and continue with it again, and proceed with the installer. Here, select the drive you erased, and click on Continue. Keep in mind that the installation process may take a while, and during the installation, your PC will restart several times, so don't worry about it.
Finally, the macOS Tahoe setup screen is here. Set up your macOS according to your preference. After reaching the Tahoe desktop, you must make your PC boot independently, without the USB. For that, mount the ESP of your USB and system drive as well. You can mount the ESP using terminal or any other app. See mounting EFI for more information. After mounting the EFI partition, copy the EFI folder from your USB, and paste it into the EFI partition of the system drive. After putting the EFI, eject the EFI partition and USB as well. And now, restart your PC and boot to macOS Tahoe, without using USB. Finally, everything is done, and you can see, macOS Tahoe is running on PC. So that was it, hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, just comment down below, or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.